Hello, hello, hello. I want to tell you a little story about myself that I remember happened as a child as it related to me learning English. I could remember when I was eight years old, my father called me into the kitchen. He was making oatmeal. And he said to me, boy, come in the kitchen. I need to speak to you. And so while we were having oatmeal, he said to me, he said, son, listen, you can do and achieve anything that you want in life because you are a child of God. And you have to recognize and realize that you can do those things because people before you, your ancestors paved the way, made sacrifices that you might have life a little bit more easier that you don't necessarily have to go through the struggles that I or my grandfather or my grandmother might have gone through and then he also said to me he said let me explain some things to you boy he didn't say William he said boy and that's when I like straightened up he said now you in your life are going to have to work harder than other people solely because of the color of your skin. Is that wrong? Yes, it is. Is that a reality? Yes, it is. And don't let that reality of who you are and the color of your skin prevent you from accomplishing your goals. And so I was like, all right, that's my dad. He knows better than I do, but at eight years old, I was kind of like, what is he talking about? And then he continued to say, listen, when you're in school and you're speaking and you're learning English, I want you to speak with confidence. I want you to speak with belief that you own the language, but recognize son and realize that sometimes in your life, people are going to assume or want you to speak in a certain way that you might not be accustomed to. They might generalize thinking that who you are and what you look like, you should speak in a certain way. And I'm like, okay, you're my dad. What are you talking about? But then as I got older and I went through junior high school and I went through high school, I remember when there were certain classes that I attended whether it was history class or biology class, or I actually remember one English class I was speaking. The teacher asked me to discuss the various writings and discuss the author about the book that we were reading. And after the class was over, I remembered that some of my friends that happened to look like me came over to me and said to me, William, what are you doing? You don't speak black. You don't have an accent why are you trying to speak white what is that and I said to myself what are these people talking about it's not a question of me speaking black or white or I'm just speaking English the distinctive way in which I speak and throughout high school and also I also remember when I was in college some of my friends said to me, some of my white friends said to me, oh, you don't speak black. You speak very articulate. You speak like a white person. And those experiences from my friends in high school, speaking white or speaking black, or I don't speak black enough, or I speak too white, or I don't have the right black accent. To be honest with you, that bothered me, that hurt me, and it pissed me off. Because for me, I'm just speaking English in the manner in which I speak. With my normal or trying to be clear, properly pronounced, in my mind, I didn't know or I didn't think that English was supposed to have a particular color or a particular accent. You know, my black friends are saying to me, I'm not speaking black enough. And my white friends are saying to me, I'm not speaking black enough. I was pissed off, confused, because at the end of the day, all I'm trying to do is speak English in the way that I know how with belief in myself and to properly convey my thoughts. 
But then I realized what my father was trying to tell me. You will be, or people will assume that you need to think or speak in a particular way or in a particular accent. They might pigeonhole you. Or because of their own bias or prejudices, they're trying to put me in a box. Have you ever been there? Can you relate to my story? Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But here's something that I want you to think about. When I was a kid and I was younger, those words hurt me and they bothered me. But I had to realize that, you know what? The way I speak English in the distinctive way that I speak with my particular accent, that is who I am. And for those of you out there that are learning English from wherever you are in the world, one of the things that I would encourage you to think about is the following. The way and manner in which you speak, be proud of who you are. You don't need to speak in a particular accent that is not your own. You don't need to fix your accent. You don't need to improve your accent or sound like a native unless you want to. Because sometimes what people will do is, is they will apply their own particular bias, their own particular ignorance in terms of how they think or they want you to sound. And one of the things that I realized when I was a kid was, it was like, wait a minute, I was looking for the acceptance and validation of people that did not care about me at all. And one of the things that I would encourage you to do is the following. Do not look for the validation or acceptance of other individuals as it relates to your English. Validate yourself. Focus on the things that are most important in your English journey. Being clear, proper pronunciation, the ability to communicate your thoughts and your ideas. While at the same time recognizing that you know what? Sometimes people will discriminate against you. Sometimes people will expect for you to sound the way that they want you to sound but that has nothing to do with your English journey. Because one of the things that I recognize is the following. Words have power and words have meaning. And there are, or there is a certain intent of why people say certain things on videos as it relates to social media. Now, I'm not judging those individuals, and I don't know why people will say, sound like a native, fix your accent. I don't know their intent. But the reason why I choose not to use those words, those expressions, those phrases, and I could use them because I'm from the United States of America, and so I happen to be a native English speaker, is why would I want to use those words? Because for me, those words, I think, is saying there's something the matter wrong with the way in which you speak. It reminds me of when I was a little kid and people were telling me, you don't speak this enough or that enough or you need to change your accent or you need to change the way that you speak. So for me, what is most important is speaking English naturally, owning who you are, being proud of your accent, which is your identity. And for those of you that say to me, or those of you that have desire, and you can have a desire to sound more like a native, that is fine. That is aspirational. And if you want to do that, then it takes months sometimes years of figuring out the particular accent that you want and you must mimic and copy and shadow to find that particular accent. But one of the things that I would encourage you to ask yourself is the following. 
are you doing that because it is something that you aspire to or are you doing it because you think or you believe that you need to gain the approval or acceptance of the masses that might not necessarily even care about you? At the end of the day, English is a global international language spoken by many, many people in the world. And you have a right to this language if you invest the time and the proper resources. Focus on the things that are important, the aforementioned that I mentioned before, and with respect to how you speak and the accent in which you speak. Own your accent, which is part of your identity and recognize and realize that there are in times in life going to be people that want you to be something that you're not and there are haters in the world. But those haters do not have to influence your decision and your English journey. That's what I wanted to share with you in this video. This is Teacher Will. Welcome to the place where you and I, we learn together. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. And I'd ask that you click on that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, so that when I drop a video, you are made aware of it. Words have meaning. Words have power. Be proud of who you are and enjoy your English journey by you speaking naturally.